electric files. Are they good or are they bad? This is a real huge issue in the nail industry. There's a perception, I think, that possibly electric files are not good for the natural nails. We're going to talk about why that is incorrect and what the truth is right now on the Biz Talk. You gave me a cold. Yes, I did. I warned you that no. I was sick. I warned that, her that I was is sick. Why. I kept on asking if you're sick and you're And honest. I said no. You said no. I said So how did you I said, said a warning? I said <laughs> I totally just got caught. <laughs> you know what I am sick of? I'm sick. Greg? Well, besides the obvious. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what I'm really sick of, Tracy. Mm-hmm. And what I'm really sick of is this whole idea in the marketplace mm-hmm. that electric files are bad for the natural nails. Okay. We see it time and time and time again, right? We see salons, we see consumers. Um, there's a reason for it why they think it's bad. And, and I get that. Yeah. But let's just let's hit this like head on what is the truth are electric files bad for the natural nails absolutely that's why i use it on myself because it's horrible (laughs) no it's not but just like you said um i get where they're coming from and honestly for six years i taught my clients the exact same thing so for six years you taught your clients that electric file is bad Mm -hmm. for them why because that's what I was told, right? I was by, I was by instructors, okay. uh, by other people. Uh, that's just what I was told, and it wasn't as common um, when back I, then. Back then, when mm-hmm. I first started doing nails, um, so I was I, and then I saw damage. I saw people come in with damage, and I'm like, okay, so the two go hand in hand. Like damage, as in like divots in the nails mm-hmm. and like red grooves, rings of fire, rings of fire. Yeah, all of yeah. that. So ultimately, um, what changed your mind as uh, why electric files are not damaging to the natural nails? We had a a girl come into our salon Mm -hmm. um, who, uh, where I was working, and she was using one, Mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting, and she she didn't damage the nails. And then I started uh, training, and and then so I started picking it up a little bit. Like I, you you needed to use it for like backfills and things like that, cutting in smile lines. But like for natural nails or taking down bulk, I would never even pick it up. Everything was hand filing. And then um, I came down and trained with Greg, uh-huh. and uh, I needed to do something because I had carpal tunnel on both wrists. Okay, so it wasn't because a, you're going like this. Oh gosh, and like constantly shaking yeah. your hand out. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. And I wore wrist, uh, you know, guards at whatever night, those are. Yeah, trying yeah. to, um, <clears throat> you know, there was, you know, saying there was possibility of surgery. So I definitely needed to look at something else. And then I met you guys. Yeah, and. And your life was forever changed. Only when it came to the electric file. (laughs) Everything else was downhill. (laughs) Not true. Your life was blessed. Your life changed. Here you are today talking on the Biz Talk about electric files. But here's, here's what's most interesting to me is that Tracy and I just went out uh, recently. We had a meeting with a salon Mm -hmm. and we were talking about speed in the salon and we were talking about ways that this salon could improve their speed and almost double their revenue. And as soon as we mentioned the electric file, there was like a no, 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 no. Yeah, we can't do that. So the thing is, is that when you put a tool in somebody's hand, right? and they don't know how to use it, the potential for damage is Absolutely. is high. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And and we see that too, right? When you have a nail technician that's not properly trained, you're going to have um, the potential for damage because you put too much pressure, you can have damage. Yep. But, I mean, that goes with anything in any business, in any market. As a matter of fact, they sell chemicals at the grocery store they sell 
um, all kinds of items in the world that potentially could cause damage if you don't yeah. know how to use it. Yeah. And well, go to a hairdresser that doesn't know how to apply bleach. Right. You're probably going to have Damage. a burnt head. <laughs> Damage, right. Yeah. Um, there's so many examples, endless yeah. examples, right? Go to a massage therapist that doesn't know what they're doing. You're going to have some serious like exactly. issues. You're going to be hurting. Yeah. And that's just with, with the hands. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the e-file, okay? And electric file. When I say e-file, I mean electric file. Like why is it vital that every nail professional should use an electric file. Like, why is it so important? Well, first of all, I like the fact that you were like e-file, 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 because I mean, I used to call it a drill. Right. And that that just naturally gives it a bad tone. Right, because the drill goes like, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. No, it's yeah. Just, it's, it's not what we're it's doing. It's an electric file. And it's like, oh, okay, it's the same thing as a hand file. Hand file, it's electric. Yeah. Correct. Um, it's vital because first... Just what I was talking about, your wrist, your right. body, your back. I mean, it, it helps so many different things right. um, just using that. And then speed. Speed. Like I could not do the stuff that I can do in a timely manner without the electric file. Right, right, exactly. Um, I've seen it firsthand when uh, a lot of the content that we shoot, we shoot how much, we shoot real time. Um, obviously I've seen Greg using the electric file dozens and dozens and not even dozens, hundreds of times. And the thing that is always fascinating to me is when you guys start the prepping process, okay. And you turn it on like two to 3000 RPMs. It, if you actually touch the electric file, the tip, it is so gentle. It is. It is so soft and it, you can put it on the skin and it's like, it's just, it just, it literally tickles. Yeah. I, you know? I will literally come in days even when i don't need a fill and i'll go around the cuticles with the electrophile just to clean everything up right because i love the feeling of it the process of removal mm -hmm. okay this is kind of a big one and i see it obviously three four times a week because yeah. of all the content we shoot but this is the area I think that is so important in utilizing an electric file, obviously in prep, prep is huge, yep. but, um, removal is just as Jeez. important. Yeah. If not more. Yeah. Like, and they, they kind of go hand in hand, right? Because when somebody comes in for maintenance, it's always removal into prep, removal into prep, right? Right. right. So these two really kind oh, of blend, they really go hand in hand to be able to remove not only properly, but also to the health of the natural nail, ultimately using an e-file is probably the best way to keep the natural nail in tip top condition. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that's where I, what I was saying, you know, that's why I, I don't, I use it on myself. It's like, because we will have people comment like, oh, you know, that's what it's all about. It's just getting them in and out and not yeah. caring about the, nat the, the, the nature of their natural nail. And it's literally a demo of me doing it on myself. Yeah. I am not going to do something on myself that I think is damaging of or hurts. That would be crazy of to course. do. So if I remove my nails three, at least three times a week. That's what we if do not here. More. Correct. If not more. What do my natural nails Perfect. look like? Perfect. They're great. They're, They're in great shape. Stephanie, how many times is she? She's she, about the she's same. She's our new guinea pig. She's our new guinea pig. I know. <laughs> Poor Stephanie. She, she didn't gets, know that when she signed I on. I know. Um, but she has her nails removed constantly yeah, and I, reapplied. I think They're we've perfect. already removed them three times this week. Yeah. Yeah. They're perfect. So here's the thing. Like, it drives me crazy, right? It drives me crazy. And I'm not even like a professional nail technician, but I see it firsthand. If you are properly trained with an e-file, which is what we do here at Young Nails, it's right? Thing. It's part of our education, okay? You're not only going to increase your speed in the salon, but you're also going to have the highest possibility for preserving the natural nails on your clients. Why? Here's the thing. There are some products, you know, obviously that you need to remove with like a, like acetone, right? Oh, it's, it, yeah. I mean, it's part of it. Yeah. It's, it's part of it's it. It's like trying to say, I, I want to dye your hair blonde without using bleach. Right. You know, there's things well, you need in the process. If you wear regular nail polish, you're exposing your nails to acetone every two Absolutely. weeks. Absolutely. Fine. Yep. Right. But if literally you're, I think, I think here's the thing. If you're trying to remove acrylic 
and like you're doing it with your clients. Um, I don't know. I know consistently, consistently and you're having them soak or, or 30, just... 40 minutes in acetone. That's not good. I think it's really important to have like when you guys do gel polish removal, when we were up in Reno, mm-hmm. when we were up in Reno a couple weeks ago, Greg demonstrated removal of gel polish yeah. using electric file. Okay. And he had the, that, that very nice lady came up yep. and she, she put her hands up. She wanted to see it. She wanted to see it. Greg took out the e-file. Okay. Put it on a low setting and he literally tickled the gel and it came off so like gentle. that. Yep. And he left just enough of a layer. Um, I think it was the base that was on there. Yeah, you don't have to re- go all the way down. You don't go if all the way down. Yeah, if you're right. reapplying, that's what I love the base for. It's right. like, that's your protective layer. Totally. You just go down. He went down to the base. He tickled it off and she, and she was like, oh my God. She's tripping out. She was tripping out. She's like, that was so gentle, so soft, and so yeah. easy. And there needs to be education to the consumer. There needs to be education to the pro, not just the consumer. Both, that, both ways. Yeah, that e-file it needs training, yep. okay? But it is absolutely the fastest and safest way for both parties, for the consumer and for the professional nail tech because if you're doing this, you know what I mean, 7 clients a day, 15 whatever, you had 14 clients a day, <laughs> you're doing fills, yeah, you're doing like, that. Like no wonder I did I got carpal tunnel. That's, I mean like oh my god. It's going to happen. And my back and sho- like shoulders were always on of fire. Of course. Of course. Like just and and just even for prep an application, I can prep the nail way faster. We know that, but I can prep the nail better and get less lifting right. with the electric file. Now, I'm not saying people can't prep with the hand file. I did it for six years. Yeah, but how that electric file can tuck into that cuticle area, you can't get that hand file like right. that. It's it's so and you're like rubbing on the skin right. where, when you're not wanting to because the file's huge. It's huge, and that's a great point because. When you look at the, the the head of the electric file and you use that medium cross cut, right? Which yeah. is a great, great, great bit. bit. Yeah, I love it too. Now I don't even use it and I love it. <laughs> and But it's got that corner. You can get in super tight, which mm-hmm. means you're going to have more thorough of a preparation, like Tracy said, yep. that, which is going to give you better, longer lasting. You're preserving yourself, okay? Like you're not going like this for eight hours a day. <laughs> like you're sawing a big, giant log. Um you're, you're, you're here. You can get into a nice comfortable position. You can, it's ergonomic. You can, you can, you can work right here and let that do the work. As long all you're doing is just applying, you know, pressure. It's a matter of educating your customers. Right. It's a matter of us. That's why we're doing this segment right now. It's a matter of us educating you on the benefits and why every salon needs to have one, but you need to have training. Okay, you got to get the right yeah. training in order to um, to have the the real success just with it. Just like you got training on how to do nails in the first place. You can't put. You, you didn't just pick that up and right, go. Right. You have to, and number one most important thing you need to do is do it on yourself. Correct. You will learn really quick what type of pressure you're supposed to put. Right. And like, you know, I've. Uh, I've had very basic training from you and Greg, right? Especially when I was doing the pro teaches beginner yep. and using the electric files um, in the prep process. It's so soft. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's such it's, a gentle, it's so gentle, yep. you know, as opposed to, and the thing is, is that you can get a feel like when I'm doing it, I can actually get a feel for the pressure. When I have a hand file, it's just so big and bulky, it's harder. And like you said, to get down the grooves and it's can just... You, can you see what you're doing? No, that's yeah. the other thing too. You can't. You can't see, can't. It. You can't see what, where it's hidden. Correct. So. Correct. I, I'm i just such a huge um, uh, believer in constantly improving the industry. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and always bringing the right information to the marketplace, to the consumer or to the nail technician. Mm. It is so vital that um, this is talked about more. It's important that you um, have a good understanding of, of, you know, what this actual tool can do for your business. If the tool is used improperly, of course, you're going to have issues. And yes, you can damage uh, your, your customer's nails. but Just like you can with a hand file. With a hand file? A regular Either way. hand file? Correct. If you... Too much pressure. Go like this or too much pressure... You're going to hurt your client. They're going to fry. You do the same thing with the electric file. 
they're going to fry. You're exactly. Hurt your client. And then the other hand, what we have with like when we teach OWC, we have a lot of people go, well, my customers aren't going to want me to use it. Mm-hmm. Got to educate them. You have to educate them. And it was an option. Right. It, it's just not an option. If you come to me, Habib, and you say, and people will because they've been hurt or they've heard. They've heard. And they'll say, I do not want you to use that on me. Right. Well, I'm sorry. It's part of my trade. Right. It's, I've been trained in it. You know what? Let me show you real quick. Yeah, right on their skin. Like right here. Right on the inside. Yeah. That's what it's going to feel like. If you're, if it gets uncomfortable at all, you just let me know, but that's what it's going to feel like. Right. And if they still say, I don't want you to use that on me. I wasn't the tech for them. Why? I can't. I, you want me to do your nails long term and stay in this business business. Yeah. This is the tool of the trade right. that I have to use. Right. However, it, there's other nail techs out there that may not use it. And I suggest you find one of them. Right. It's kind of like a customer maybe coming to me and saying, Hey, um, I don't want you to, um, use, uh, this certain technology when you process my orders, you know, <laughs> and I'd be like, I want um, you to write it by hand. I want you to do it by hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want you to take notes and no, no scanners, no technology. Yeah. None of that yeah. is allowed because too many times I've seen my orders messed up from other companies that have used that technology. Yeah. And it's like, uh, no, yeah. this is my business. <laughs> it's not how it does. But I, it, it's an education process. Like you said, it's grabbing their hand and saying, it's a tickle. Yeah. Look, do it first on myself. Look, yeah. let me show you. It's a tickle. Yep. And I think that's, we need more of that. We need more education on the safety and um, how it will preserve the nail technician's body yep. and ultimately allow them to have long term careers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we'd love to hear from you. What is your opinion? What is your take on the electric file? Um, obviously, you know ours. But we'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Um, would be very, very informative for us and for other people. With that, I'd like to say thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week on the BizTalk.